Welcome back to your WWE SummerSlam review series. Now, I'm here doing SummerSlam 1991. Now, this SummerSlam, I said that the last two SummerSlams were kind of decent in my opinion. Or, you know, like I said, 88 started a great SummerSlam. But then after you went to 89, which was decent. And then you go to 1990, which I don't think was a good SummerSlam. And then we get to this pay for you right here, which is SummerSlam 91, where we kind of get... A decent to good card I think in my opinion I think that this was a good card so the opening match we start off with is a six-man tag match it's the Bulldog Ricky Steamboat and the Texas Tornado which is Kevin uh, Kerry Van Eric uh, versus the powers uh, the powers of glory and Paul Romeo and Hercules oh yeah no I mean the the powers the powers of glory and the warlord um, so this is a good opener here I didn't think that this was bad um, you know the you know the faces go over I thought it was a good match and then we get to one of my one of the best matches of the night in my opinion and Bret Hart versus Mr. Perfect for the Intercontinental Championship uh, Mr. Perfect was your Intercontinental Champion going into this and anytime Bret Hart and Mr. Perfect I had any matches on Pretty or if it was on a Raw or if it was on anything like that then you would know that these two guys just instantly click like that I mean um, I'll talk about the, I mean, I think about Brett versus Owen, that was a good match at SummerSlam 94, and I'll, I'll get to that in a, in a couple more videos. Um, SummerSlam 92, Brett Hart versus uh, British Bulldog, really good match, that was obviously, that's my next review, that was my ne that's the next in the series, so um, SummerSlam 92, so anyway, back to this match, this was really good, a lot of good technical wrestling, Mr. Perfect, uh, Brett Hart was working on Mr. Perfect's leg, and then Mr. Perfect was... You know, doing a lot of technical stuff. Uh, but in the end, Bret Hart wins with a short shoot and retain, and is your new IC champion. So that's the first um, title change of the night. Then we have another tag team match. It's a natural disaster, which is Earthquake and Typhoon. I hope I said that name. Right. Versus the Bushwhackers. The heels go over. I thought it was a good, I thought it was a decent match. Then we have Virgil versus Ted DiBiase with Sensational Share. And this was for the Million Dollar Championship. And this was at a time when they actually split up Virgil and Ted DiBiase as, as kind of, um, you know, they weren't together anymore and they had Sensational Sherry and Ted DiBiase together as a, um, a unit because also the year before they had Macho King and um, King and uh, Sensational Sherry, but obviously Sensational Sherry turned a Macho Man and whatever and Miss Elizabeth and Macho Man got together and then blah, 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 blah. So yeah, there you go there. And um, after that... Um, Virgil got the win here, um, so yeah, Virgil, uh, defeated Teddy Biasi to win the, um, Million Dollar Championship, so that's our second town match tonight, but this was a real good story here, where basically, you had, you know, Teddy Biasi was the heel, and obviously, Virgil was the love babyface that really wanted to, um, get his revenge on Teddy Biasi, and he looked like, from these video packages, that he was getting a really, that he was getting kind of, uh, organic, uh, Bayface um, reactions, especially when he came out, Virgil, when he won and when he came out of the ring, he got, when he came out for his entrance, and when he came out um, after he won his match, he got like a monster Bayface, like, I don't know, I think he got like a mega kind of fucking Bayface reaction, that's pretty good, uh, that was for, to get Virgil over like that, so props to WWE there, um, so yeah, like I said, it, it, it had a good story to it, I thought the match was decent, so you know, overall good winner there. Uh, Big Boss Man versus the Mount versus the Mountain. Um, this was just kind of a whatever match to me. Uh, the Boss Man wins, and then the Boss Man throws him into the um, the cop car, and then the cop car drives to the uh, cop station, and then we see the Mountain going into the cop station. This is what I want to see more on WWE television. Is this is what we don't see? You know when we have a segment where we have oh uh, if I could wrestle, that's arrested. We see them maybe going to the uh, cops and then game released or something like that, but we never see them actually going into the cells and actually them getting arrested properly arrested. Do you know what I mean? Uh, making it realistic. And here we had it here. And I watched this segment here and I was thinking, man, if WWE can just take some bits from 91 WWF, then have some of them good segments like the prison segment or something there in normal, in you know in current day WWE, then I'll be okay with it. Uh, this Big Boss Man prison segment was awesome. I enjoyed it. Um, and then we had the Legion of Doom versus the Nasty Boys. Um, this was for the tag team titles. Um, it's a short match. Um, 
the Legion of Doom win the tie titles. Then we have um, Erwin... IRS, Erwin versus uh, Gregory. Um, whatever, it was a whatever match in my opinion. Then we get the main event, and it was Hulk Hogan and um, the Ultimate Warrior versus Sergeant Slaughter, Mustafa, and General Adenan. I hope I said your name right. Uh, and the special guest was Sid Justice. Yes, the guy who broke his leg, broke his leg in WCW since 2001. Um, so, yeah. Um, this was a good match here. The big faces go over. Typical Hogan and Warrior match where they do their shit and whatever. Good match. I thought it was a good match, though. Good main event. And then we get to the real main event, and it's Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, yeah. And uh, Miss Elizabeth, Miss Elizabeth's uh, wedding. I thought that this was a really good segment here. I thought probably the best segment of the night, uh, in my opinion. Like, that main eventing SummerSlam. Now, you, now I can just imagine backstage back then when Hogan was like, Brother, 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 oh, brother. You've took my spot, brother, brother, oh, brother. <laughs> I can just imagine Hogan Paul taking over, like, those two taking his spot. But, uh, yeah, I thought it was a good segment. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't think Hogan would be too pleased with um, Macho Man and Miss Elizabeth taking his spot in the main event at some time. I mean, it's like, brother, 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 oh, brother. But, uh, yeah. But, anyway, it's a good segment. And, uh, yeah, good way, because that was obviously... Because I remember they had Warrior and Macho Man at WrestleMania. What WrestleMania was it? Was that a 7? No, it wasn't a 7. I think it was 7 because I know 8 was Flair and Macho Man. So I'm saying that was 7 or was it 9? I honestly don't know. Um, if you guys know what WrestleMania that was because I know Sensational Show did turn that year because they scored to also them getting married again. So, you know, that's what it did anyway. So overall, SummerSlam 1991, I thought it was a decent show. I thought it was better than 1990. It wasn't like... You know, good as, as 88, but it was better than you know, it was an upgrade from 89 and an upgrade from 1990 because obviously in 80, 89 and 1990, we had about 11 matches on this card, we only have 11, so they kind of took two matches off the card here. But um, overall, I thought it was a good pay per view, and uh, yeah, what do you guys think of SummerSlam 1991? Leave that in the comment section, well, guys, and I'll check you later.